Hi this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how I organize my files and folders. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So here's another episode of my productivity series where I show you how I do things on my Mac and maybe you can get some ideas from how I work. One of the primary things you need to figure out as a Mac user is where do you put your things, how do you organize them so you can find them, get your work done, and be more productive. So I try to keep things pretty simple. Most of my stuff is in my Documents folder. And I have my Documents folder in iCloud. So it's available on my main Mac, on my desktop, and also my laptop Mac. And I can access it on my iPhone and my iPad if I need to. Now this is my demo account. But I've tried to make it look a lot like my real account. So I have folders that make sense for what I do. So I've got this one folder here called MacMost and that has all of my MacMost stuff in it. There are subfolders for my video projects, for the website, things like that. And under Video Projects there's a folder for every episode I do. But I also have folders for my app development, mostly games. So all of my Swift projects and Air projects are in there. I've got Website Development folder. So I've got folders for all the websites I maintain and put the files that are needed for those in there. I've got projects for other things. That's kind of like a miscellaneous work stuff. So any project I come up with, a new idea, a new thing I'm working on, I'll create a folder in there. I have a business folder and that's all the accounting stuff and receipts and taxes and all that goes in the business folder. And I've got a personal folder for stuff that really isn't business. It's personal stuff. Things having to do with my house, with my family, with cars, with any type of file that's more of a personal nature than a business nature. Now I mentioned that this is all saved in iCloud Drive. So I'm using iCloud Drive but how exactly am I using it? Well if I go to System Preferences and Apple ID and then I look here at the bottom I have Optimized Mac Storage turned off. So my Mac Pro which is what we're looking at right now that has a huge drive in it. I've made sure the drive is big enough for me to store all of my stuff locally. So I don't need to use Optimized Mac Storage here. Every file I've got in iCloud Drive is on my hard drive right here in my office. Now on my laptop I have the opposite set. I have Optimized Mac Storage turned on. My laptop has a much smaller drive and I don't need everything on that drive. So I have it turned on there so only recent files and files that I'm more likely to need right now are there and everything else is downloaded on demand. Now having this turned off on my Mac Pro also means that since every file is available on my Mac Time Machine Backup is complete. All the files are there. The Time Machine Backup backs up everything. Now the other thing I do differently between my desktop and my laptop is how I handle desktop and documents. So here with iCloud Drive I have Desktop and Documents turned on. So the Desktop and Documents folder, mostly the Documents folder here, this is all iCloud Drive. So I just use my Documents folder as I would normally. Everything's in iCloud Drive. I don't even have to think about it. But on my laptop I have that turned off. The Desktop and Documents folder are actually pretty empty. Unless I'm just working on some new idea or something maybe while traveling then I might use the Documents folder for temporary storage. But I can still access my iCloud Desktop and Documents folders anytime I want by simply going to iCloud Drive. And in iCloud Drive I can look in Documents and there is everything. So I have the best of both worlds on my laptop. A local Desktop and Documents folder and my iCloud Desktop and Documents folder. They're all available to me using that system. Now I don't have everything in iCloud Drive. If I go to my Home folder here I do have a local Documents folder but I don't really use it. It's in case I need to store something locally that's not on iCloud Drive. But what I use all the time though is all of my files for recording these tutorials. They're huge files. Many gigs in size every day. I don't want to put that in iCloud Drive. It's going to be a lot of back and forth transfer and I don't need them on iCloud Drive. I can do my video here at my desk, get it done, and publish it. I never need to switch to my laptop or access it from somewhere else. So since that's primarily video content I decided to use the Movies folder. And in the Movies folder I have a ScreenFlow folder 
since ScreenFlow is the app that I use to create the tutorials. In the Movies folder you may have folders for iMovie, for Final Cut Pro, and other video related things like the TV app. So it makes sense to create one for ScreenFlow, make it app based, and inside of ScreenFlow I have a folder for every video I create. So when I'm working on my tutorials all those files are being saved locally only. They're in my Home folder, Movies, ScreenFlow. They're not being saved to iCloud. Now since these files are so big I don't want to keep them all on my internal hard drive all the time. So after a few weeks each one gets archived. I have an external drive that's called Archive. and That's a big 5 terabyte drive and I have all sorts of things on there. I use it all the time to take old episodes of Mac Most and put all the files there onto the Archive drive. Time Machine is still backing that up and I have an online backup using Backblaze which is backing up both my internal and this Archive drive. So everything is getting backed up just fine. But I'll put files here to get them off of my internal drive. So mostly Mac Most files. If say I have an app that I've developed that I'm no longer developing I will move that to the Archive drive as well. So old projects, things I probably don't need anymore. And also static information. Like for instance I have one here called Clip Art and Media. So any clip art collections, photos collections, audio collections, things like that. Things that are kind of read only. I'm not going to be working with these files. I'm just going to have them there as a library and pick and choose one and bring it into a project somewhere else. I'll also store those on the Archive drive. So some other bits here. I definitely have mostly everything I do in Documents. How about my desktop? It looks like this. I keep it clean and empty. I try not to clutter my desktop with files or folders or anything like that. Occasionally if I come up with an idea and I want to start something right away, a pages document, a numbers document, a video, something like that and I haven't even thought about how I'm going to organize it. I'll save it to the desktop temporarily, get working while my energy is high and later in that day I'll find out the proper place to store it in Documents or in the ScreenFlow folder or somewhere else. Now how about my sidebar? I try to keep that pretty simple as well. Under iCloud I've got iCloud Drive so I can access everything. I've got Desktop and Documents there. And under Favorites I try to keep everything pretty simple. Matter of fact in my real account I don't even have Recents or Applications there. I'll just have my Home folder, a Favorite for ScreenFlow since I go to that folder all the time, and maybe for the app that I develop the most, my Mahjong app. So that's there and I can easily get to that. How about Finder Views? So I love the Column View. Column view for me is great to be able to just dig down into things. You get to see a preview and everything like that. But I have to admit that more and more I'm using list view for a lot of things because I like how you can open something up and then maybe open up something else and see files in the same list even though they're in different folders. I almost never use icon or gallery view. It's always column or list. Now how about the Finder itself? I know a lot of people will have a Finder window open like this. They'll close it. They'll open it again. And then just basically open and close Finder windows as needed. I don't work that way. I have one Finder window open all the time and it has several tabs in it. So for instance this tab may be pointed to the Mac Most folder. This one to maybe the ScreenFlow folder. This one maybe to my Projects folder. And then maybe this one is somewhere else. It changes all the time. And I basically keep this window open all the time. I have it on my second screen so it's out of the way. But even on my laptop where I don't have a second screen I just have this window open all the time. I'll hide the Finder if I don't want to see it or it's just behind everything else. So often I'm asked by people like how do I get the columns to be the same width or maybe if I'm in List View how do I get things to be set up just so. You know, If I close the Finder window and open a new one then I don't like how things are arranged and I have to work with it all again. I don't worry about that because I simply have this Finder window open all the time and I never close it. And if I set the widths of things up or the columns that are in List View it just stays like that because I never close the Finder window. So there's some insight as to how I organize my files and folders and use the Finder on my Mac. I love to hear your productivity tips for files, folders, and the Finder as well in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you like this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.